Oreo Video Productions presents The Polari Project's Walk of Fame Acknowledging LGBTQ community leaders locally and internationally who have made a difference in the lives of Canadian LGBTQ people. The Polari Project launched its YouTube channel in September 2015. It has uploaded over 75 original video productions. Over 10,000 minutes viewed. 7,965 videos watched. 150 likes and almost 20 comments by viewers like you. Sky Gilbert is a Canadian writer, actor, academic and drag performer. Born in Norwich, Connecticut, he studied theatre at York University in Toronto, Ontario, and at the University of Toronto, before becoming the co-founder and artistic director of Buddies in Bad Times, a Toronto theatre company dedicated to LGBT drama. Sky also teaches a course on playwright at the University of Guelph. The Hammer Theatre Company founded in January 2007, is a company devoted to theatre research in Hamilton, Ontario. His plays deal with issues of gender and sexuality. Gilbert has been living in Hamilton since 2004. Dominic Agostino was a Canadian politician who represented the riding of Hamilton East for the Liberal Party in the Legislative Assembly of Ontario from 1995 until his death in 2004. He supported legislation granting spousal benefits to same-sex partners. Agostino was quoted as saying, As long as you are consistent, your private life should remain private. Aidan Johnson is a longtime West Hamilton community activist. A hard-working lawyer with deep roots in West Hamilton, Aidan's extensive track record of volunteer work includes roles as an HIV-AIDS outreach worker, fundraiser for Penn Canada and two years as president of a West Hamilton Writing Association. Aidan was elected Ward 1 councillor for the city of Hamilton in October 2014. The city's first openly gay elected representative. I'm a gay man living with HIV. I'm, you know, middle class. You know, I have a really good kind of life and lifestyle, you know, compared to other people that I've worked with over the many, many years who struggle for, for things that I I'm very privileged to have that they don't necessarily have or, or have been able to obtain. Um, but I think part of that is that, you know, that allows me to kind of be a, a, a mentor for people as well. Robert Alexander was living in Hamilton, Ontario, where he had been dealing with issues related to being gay and to his HIV status. Rob Alexander was director of support services for the Hamilton AIDS Network. He also worked as a professional associate with the School of Rehabilitation at McMaster University. A lot of his work focused on the areas of rehabilitation issues for people with HIV and AIDS. When you look at the, the, the activism and um, protests and, and all the, the kind of political stuff that we had to do in the early days, things happened that we have now that we wouldn't have had if those voices all weren't there. So. He also worked on an interprofessional health care program that was patient-centered for people with episodic disabilities, including HIV, AIDS, cancer, multiple sclerosis, depression and addictions. Being here 27 years later, and being people being able to see that I'm still engaged and there are opportunities and that that's what it's all about. Lila Miklos is an award-winning activist, administrator, broadcaster, chief negotiator, community organizer, lay chaplain, performer, public speaker, publicist, vocalist, and writer. Born in Frobisher Bay, Baffin Island, Northwest Territories in 1974, Lila has called Hamilton, Ontario her home since 1982. Lila has self-identified as a sex-positive, queer, feminist, activist for over two decades. She helped create and served as president of Mohawk Pride, Mohawk College's first official club for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer, LGBTQ, students. She was instrumental in forming the LGBTQ Advisory Committee for the City of Hamilton. Paul Elia is a graduate of the Ontario College of Arts and Design where he studied drawing and painting and integrated media. 
He has exhibited work in various notable Toronto and Hamilton galleries. In 2007 Paul moved from Toronto, back to his hometown of Hamilton, Ontario. The Hamilton Strip series is inspired by the city's surreal tension between the imposing industrial shells from a manufacturing history versus the residential development around it. The series has been evolving to include some muted colors and feature more cities in the Ontario Rust Belt such as Windsor, Sarnia, Brantford, Toronto, and Oshawa. All of these cities face similar challenges as they cope with contemporary industrial manufacturing realities. Hamilton has completely inspired the work Paul is doing now. As an HIV-positive individual, Murray Jose often speaks and writes about the impact and issues of living with HIV. Diagnosed in 1991, he has worked at the Hamilton AIDS Network. He is also founding co-chair of the Ontario HIV Treatment Network, co-chair of the Toronto HIV AIDS Network and member and chair of the Gay Men's Sexual Health Alliance Spas Prevention Working Group. Mr. Jose is currently the executive director of the Toronto People with AIDS Foundation and involved with various regional, provincial and national projects. And that was the Polari Project GBLTQ Walk of Fame for the Hamilton area. For more GBLTQ historical information please visit the Polari Project website at www.polariproject.com. Thank you for watching.